Hello all, okay, I am back for our second intermission video, and I'm going to try to wrap this up in this one so we can get back to unboxing more of Dungeon Crusade. And I hope you did like my story about the Skeleton Warrior Level 2 Elite. That that really happened. Okay, so what is some? Um, let's go to start with this right now. As you know, we're doing the unboxing video. And excuse these pictures. I mean, they're very clear when you post them, but I'm using this format to show you. Um... And then uh, there's, since you're getting to know me, there's Caesar. Just, he knew how grand this unboxing, unboxing was. So he was right there with us. But um, here are, and I want to touch, I wanted to show you this because I went out last week and I got these. Because as you know, you know, this is going to be a big video series. And we're going to actually break the game down and I'm going to be giving you storage solutions. Oh, and that was it. I saw a lot of nice people asking about, well, this is not going to fit back in the box. Well, you're going to see how I'm going to store everything. It will fit back in the box. However, there is a mass quantity of tokens in this game. I, you, I just There's a lot. So I'm going to be recommending to get these storage compartments. Um, these, are the two, these two over here are the big 36 compartment ones, I believe. These over here are, what, 18, I think? Might be 21. But anyway, these fit all your tokens, your dice, your doors, all that stuff in there and then in your Dungeon Crusade box you can just simply put your tiles your cards um, you know like the village board the the dungeon UI board all back in the box and then what I do with my games and all my other board games I use these and they're just they're perfect and you just stack that right on top of it or I have a section for all my cases like this so um, we're going to be breaking the game down that's what I wanted to say so I want to I keep on moving here so I can wrap this up because I know you want to see more of the game. So these photos I took, I shared these on the official Dungeon Crusade Facebook page and on my page and wherever else. So that's why we're just going to go over some of the stuff real quick that I photographed. Um, I actually cheated a little bit. I, I took out the doors, um, the punch board for the doors. Yes, you get all these doors. I believe there's 45 doors you get, the three different variations, um, because I wanted to set the board up for you guys and show it to you. Because otherwise, you wouldn't have known all these pictures exist. And I've, you know me, I always want to keep you in the loop. And, you know, so what's going on? So, uh, moving along, um, this is just, again, there's some cardboard miniatures. And again, hopefully that's not going to get too fuzzy for you. Um, cardboard miniatures, retro inspired. Um, you know, Dungeon Crusade is a retro inspired game. Um, so, there's that. Um, and we already looked at those quest tokens, I think, in part four. Um, oh, okay, I want to this is something I want to touch on because a lot of people don't even know ab about the House of Chance. Actually, we might go into one more intermission video. But um, this is, of course, the village board. You get this with Dungeon Crusade. Um, this is the village you're trying to save. Notice up here, here is the terror level. If too many minions escape the dungeon, they're going to raid the village. You're going to move a token up on the terror track. If it gets defeated, your heroes have lost. If a hero perishes, they're going to go over here to the resurrection altar, and they have to be resed. That will also raise the terror level. Um, oh, village board, I gave my prototype one to the amazing Damian Mamaldi, um, and he painted this this final board, and I know, it, it this guy's art's just out of this world. Um, so anyway, but I want to touch on this. Notice this building all the way up here tucked away. This is the House of Chance, and this is just one of the many innovative things about Dungeon Crusade that I, I'm really excited about, and I, and I don't think you've ever seen something like this in a Dungeon Crawl game. Um, there is a mechanic, and we're going to get to this, called Celebration Day. When the heroes complete various quests, they're going to head back to the village for Celebration Day. This is where they're going to level up. They can go to the temple down here and receive healing buy a blessing, blessing cards will go here, you know, restock and potions, torches, buy, upgrade their gear, sleep at the tavern to regain essence. So I might be talking Greek right now, but it, this will all fall in place as our series goes on. Well, I created the House of Chance, and what this is, is a gambling house. Now, please listen, guys, because I, people joke with me, because I get crazy. There's four House of Chance games. Every edition of Dungeon Crusade, the three editions, you will receive Tower Attack. You get that in all three editions. If you have pledged for the Master of, Rel the Master of the Realm edition, you will get Tower Attack 
The Adventures of Bravely the Knight, Skulljack, and Heroes vs. Monsters. Um, only one game is randomly decided to show up in the House of Chance. You do not repeat. I'm going to repeat it. You do not use all four games in the House of Chance. Let me rephrase that. You don't use all four games in the House of Chance. Only one game is randomly selected. Okay. Backers know from the old time ones who we've been around joke with me. So wait, you can use four games in the House of Chance? No, you can only use one game in the House of Chance. And that's why, that's the House of Chance right there. And we're getting to why I said that. There's um, Expansion Heroes, a um, little bit of the Ancient Runes Dungeon Board, Tower Tech, and hopefully the next picture. Okay, and why I said that is, I think a lot of people were looking at Skulljack like, why is this in a Dungeon Crawl game? This is a very awesome, um, easy form of Blackjack I created. Um, Damien Mimology, again, he did all the House of Chance games you're going to see, Damien Mimology. And I told him we're going for a, a late 70s, early 80s vintage vibe for these games. And I don't know how this guy does it, but this thing, this game looks like it was pulled from a, 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 you know, a board game from the late 70s, early 80s. I mean, when you see this thing in person, it looks retro. Like it's advanced retro. And... Um, <clears throat> So that's why I wanted to touch on that because I think some people, are, especially new, coming in, into Dungeon Crusade, will be like, why is there these playing cards and Skulljack? Um, this is one of the House of Chance games. Um, up to three heroes can play on cele only on Celebration Day. Um, the bank starts with 2,000 gold, and your heroes have to beat the evil dealer Skulljack. Um, it's a simple form of blackjack. There's no insurance. You can't split cards. You place a 200 gold bet. Um, and you have to beat Skulljack. Of course, if you win, you win double the, your gold back. Um, so that's what this is. Something else I want to touch on that I thought of, I'm wondering if people would like to buy separately a custom deck of Dungeon Crusade Skulljack playing cards. And because they're very cool. I mean, you know, these, these cards are very awesome indeed. So Maybe you guys can comment on um, people on Kickstarter, whoever, if if there is a desire for these cards, you know, get it at a, a very nice price point, easy shipping. Um, let me know if you would like to purchase separately just a, a, a cool deck of Skulljack playing cards, and we'll talk to Pledge Manager, and we'll get that reward implemented for you. You know, I'll do everything, whatever you need, of course I'll do for you. So I thought people would enjoy having a custom deck of Skulljack playing cards. So that's one House of Chance game. Um, and then Tower Attack. And again, I'm just touching on this because some people, I don't think I said it in those videos, like what is Tower Attack? Um, I explained it there, but again, this is a House of Chance game um, that um, that's in the House of Chance. And the other ones we will be getting to, The Adventures of Bravely the Night and Heroes vs. Monsters. So these games are, are not meant to be very long. Um, they, you know, just This is your attempt to try to bet gold and win gold in case you're low on gold to buy new gear in the village and you know, new potion, or you know, re to get new potions and torches, so on and so forth. So I'm glad I touched on that so you guys know. If you have any question about the House of Chance, just throw them in the comments and I will let you, you know, I'll, I'll let you know what's going on. Um, and that's just a close-up on Skulljack. And that thing came, Damien Mamaldi again, just, we went over like five different versions for the backing, and I think that looks just awesome and very um, retro. Very, very cool. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm coming up on the 10-minute mark. I hope you're enjoying this little intermission. We're definitely just going to do one more, and I'm going to be very brisk on the next one because I want to get back to the videos for you. So I will talk to you in a few, and we'll wrap it up with one more intermission video. Talk to you soon.